vlog. <laughs> Today we are on the island of Shargal, but soon we're leaving just to do an island hopping boat tour. It's very early, if you could hear it in my voice. It's, your voice is so soothing when you're tired. You should vlog tired more. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm excited because today is looks like it's gonna be the first sunny day. We've had since we got here. Yeah, so it's a perfect day to go <laughs> hopping on some islands. But first, we're starting with some breakfast with some friends we just met. Hey. And we'll introduce you to them very soon. <laughs> Maybe once everyone wakes up. Oh, breakfast! All right. Yeah. Woo -woo. So we're staying at Moonlight Homestay, and it's where I stayed my first trip to Shargao. And one of the things I love is the breakfast here. We have breakfast every morning. It's super good. We have the family dinner table over here. We got roosters. We got puppies. We have, I have like a perfect line of sight to like beautiful newborn puppies. The over puppies there. over there. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. All right. Want to eat this? Get ready, and uh, we're gonna start the tour very soon. So let's do it. So if you've seen any of my vlogs from last year, you might recognize this. Hey, I got my adventure hat back. I actually haven't worn this all year yet. But today is an adventure. What are you barking at, dog? It's okay, I'm vlogging over here. Anyway, today's an adventure, so let's go. All right, we're about to get on the boat. We just made it down to the beach here, and we have a crew together. Everyone is staying in moonlight together, so let's introduce everyone real quick. So everyone say your name and where you're from. Julia from France. Tommy from Canada. And Claudel from Canada too. You from Cebu. Pema from Minnesota. <laughs> Steve from the USA. I think we have two more people. Are you joining us on our... On our What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Gia. I'm from Manila. Cool, and? LZ from Manila. Awesome. Very nice to meet you. We have an awesome crew today. Let's do it. Hi, good, good morning, everybody, and welcome aboard this is Moonlight Island tour. And I'm your DJ. No, my name is DJ. I'm your tour, personal tour guide today. Today, let's have fun and enjoy. Enjoy the ride. Not the destination. Hey! <laughs> Alright, our first stop is Sohon. It's about a two hour ride. Let's go. By the way, quick little tip for you if you do come out here and you take a boat. Uh, it might be nice to get some earplugs and bring those with you because that boat ride is really loud. Now first we're going snorkeling. I think we're going to see some jellyfish. So we're going to take it over with the GoPro from here. The thing is that this is a jellyfish sanctuary where you can actually touch the jellyfish. Probably won't be allowed to do that much longer, but... These things are so cool, I love them! What do they feel like, Steve? They feel like, like hard jello. I think they feel like big boba balls, you know, like yeah. in boba tea. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. I don't think they taste like boba balls. Though. Ew! <laughs> baby jellyfish, we gotta add baby jellyfish to the list of baby things we can use. So we just finished the jellyfish cove area and now they just gave us these helmets. I don't know what these are for yet, but 
<laughs> no, we're gonna find out. Do I look good? Fashionable? I think so. All right, here we go. Whoa. One more time. And we're off. Now we are going in another cave, but I think this cave leads to a little ledge up that we can jump from, so let's go. You go first. Ready? Don't even look. Just count one, two, three, and go. All right, guys. My biggest advice when it comes to jumping off of ledges is you... This is the process, ready? Right? You turn your brain off, think of nothing, you count to three, and no matter what, by the time you hit three, you jump. Three, two, one, go! Woo! My turn. One, two, three, go! So we just made it back to the home base here in Sohoten and wow, that was such a cool little tour. I was actually just talking to Pema about this because it's very popular to do boat tours in Palawan, like El Nido and Coron, but so far this one has been, to me personally, this one has been a little bit cooler. Although it, it did take like two hours to ride here, so it was a little bit long of a ride, but this area of Sohoten is freaking amazing. So beautiful. Even like swimming through the caves or even riding, like riding the boat under the caves. So cool. And then going in the caves and even walking through the caves to hike up to a jumping platform. So, so many fun. freaking caves. So many caves. Caves everywhere. And now we are having some yum yums. And this is actually cooked by Vivian, who's the owner of Moonlight. This chicken is my favorite. It's like pineapple chicken. So good. So good. We're gonna head back to the, uh, the area near Shargao because there's three more islands we're gonna go to today. Naked Island, Daku Island, and Guyam Island. But first, before we do that, it is time to see this place from the sky. So you ready to fly? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Isn't that beautiful? This place is amazing. It, it looks nice from the ground, but once you see it from the sky, unreal. I think this is one of the best places to fly a drone in the Philippines. Maybe the world. <laughs> this is crazy. So let's... <laughs> Another two hours back. First stop's gonna be Naked Island. Yep. Alright. How do you think my backflip was? 
Perfect. Professional, right? Yeah. Uh, I definitely need some work on that. So. It's funny, the first time I ever attempted a backflip was very close to here. It was last year near uh, Sugba Lagoon. And again, it looked probably as bad as that did. <laughs> I haven't really practiced much since then, so I need some practice. Femma will motivate me to practice some more, I think. After a long and wet and windy ride, we have finally made it to Naked Island. Looking for all the naked people. No, they just call this place Naked Island because the island is naked. There's no trees here, as you can see. Killing it right here. Ooh. Yeah. Man, I wish I looked that good. <laughs> I really have like this idea in my head of me facing that way, just like naked, a naked island, but there's a lot of people here and I really don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> we did it! We accomplished the ultimate goal of getting naked at Naked Island. <laughs> Alright guys, we just got to Daku Island and the lighting is prime right now. So first order of business is to get this drone in the air. Are you ready? Let's fly. After a nice drone flight and some video around this island, we are about to leave Daku and we're heading to our last stop at a little island called Guyam. So we'll see you there. Ow, ow, ow! Looking good. Thank you. Little photo shoot going on? Yeah. Awesome. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh, get that low angle. So DJ was actually just explaining to us how Guyam means small. Yeah. Because this is a very small island. Yeah. And Dako means big because it's a big island. Yeah. And naked means naked. 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 <laughs> cool. Thanks for the info. Steve, uh, what, what do you got between your legs there? You got rice Why in my pants. Because today, when we were at Daku Island, Pema thought it would be really cool to get a drone shot of herself laying, in, laying in, in the, on the shore as the waves were coming up and apparently a wave came up higher than she anticipated and she was flying the drone with the drone controller and the wave came and just got everything all wet because Pema just has some great luck with camera equipment near the ocean shores. <laughs> So now, we're trying to dry it in rice. <gasps> Rip the bag open. Why does he keep doing it? He's just like spilling rice all I need another this. bag. <gasps> oh no. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> no, okay, here. But don't just, just put it there and leave it on your lap. No, that, that's a hole in the bottom of the bag. <laughs> we need a different bag. We are a mess right now. Hopefully there's no holes in that bag. Okay, cool. Wait, I have rice all over my lap. Why are you such Enemies. a ricey boy? <laughs> you have ricey knees. Rice and beans. How do I get? Rice and knees. How do I get? Oops. Mmm, <laughs> have some rice. Yum. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I immediately regret that. Anyway, we will keep you updated on the progress of this drone controller. Hopefully, the rice will suck out all the moisture and it will be okay to fly very soon. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming on the adventure today. A little island hopping boat tour with uh, Moonlight. And uh, we'll probably be staying at Moonlight for the next few days. So if you're interested in staying here, I will leave a link in the description so you can check out this place. And uh, we'll see you in the next vlog. Pema, anything you want to add? 
You want to give us a tip, a very important tip? What's that? About Watsons? Oh yeah, guys, if you are Not guys, girls. This is a tip to all female travelers if you happen to be watching this and you're planning on coming to the Philippines. Pema, I want to fill them in on some female advice. You can't buy tampons here except for certain places like Watsons. Watsons generally does have them in stock. If you go to the stores that have them in stock, and they generally do not sell tampons in Chargao at all. You can't find them. So, before you come to the smaller islands, if you want to get some tampons, you gotta go to the cities. <laughs> and Watson's <laughs> is a uh, convenience store. Well, it's more than a convenience store. It's like a... Steve, you're rambling. Watson's has tampons. Go to Watson's. Okay, the end. We'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. <laughs>